Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today, we're going to be doing a realistic rebuild in Madden 18 of the Jacksonville Jaguars. You might be asking why the Jaguars, they got the AFC Championship. What more could you do to this team other than replace Blake Bortles? Well, I got a comment in one of my earlier videos this week from Colton Calbreth. I'll put that on the screen right now. Sorry if I said your name wrong. I don't know exactly how to say your name. He said do the Jaguars, so that is what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to have to replace a quarterback. We're going to check out the roster in one second, but I do rebuilds every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so if you want to see that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do other Madden 18 videos, but let's hop into this. Here we go. So this is what our offense is going to look like. Obviously, we have Blake Bortles, who's he's probably the reason they didn't make it to the Super Bowl, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. I don't know if you guys are going to be like, oh, Tom Brady did an epic comeback, blah, 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 blah. Like, I agree with that. It was an awesome comeback, but I feel like they gave it away also. So so I, I was thinking about doing this where if I were to take over the team right here, right now, what would I do? It would probably be get rid of Blake Bortles because I don't really want to like blame Doug Marone. Granted, I am the coach now, but I would probably get rid of Blake Bortles, but I'm not going to do that for this series. If you guys would like to see one, like what would you do today, Lane, if you just took over the team? Who would you get rid of even though it would just literally be Blake Bortles and maybe Mercedes Lewis? Obviously, we have Leonard Fournette, so we're set there. He's, what, 21-22, superstar development. Alan Hearns isn't that bad of a wide receiver. He had a great year, what, two years ago, I think it was? Last year, they didn't do that well. Like, last year, 2007, uh, 2016 season, when they started in 2016, it wasn't that bad. But this, this year, he didn't do really much of anything. I'm kind of surprised because with Alan Robinson out, granted, they have Marquise Lee, they have Cole Westbrook. They're all emerging stars. As you see, we have Allen Robinson back because I turned pre-existing injuries off. And then I did auto-sort, so we'll put him right back into the lineup. But our offensive line, we need some work on. We need some guards. We need some tackles. I think Linder is pretty young. Yeah, 25, 88 overall. We should be pretty good to go there. We have Mercedes Lewis, who is up there in age, 33 years old. I don't know if he'll retire after this season. But like I said, there's really not much we have to work on with this team. Because look, let's, let's look at the defense. Like, obviously, that's the strong point of the Jaguars. We have an A across the whole bottom row. We have A.J. Boy and Jalen Ramsey as our cornerbacks stacked. We have Calais Campbell, who played out of his mind. I think he might get Defensive Player of the Year. I'm not too sure. Malik Jackson, Darius. I don't know how to say the other guy's name. I'm sorry. I don't know how to. Nagui? Nagui? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. Barry Church at safety. I don't know. Is that Ty, Ty Gibson? To Sean Gibson, okay, and he's 27 years old. I think Church might be, he's 29, so he's going to be starting the decline very, very soon. Probably this year, realistically. They have Miles Jack, I believe. Miles Jack, right. Miles Jack, 21, quick development. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna stick around. I thought Paul Pozlowski, I don't know how to say his name, 32. Okay, he's up there in age. And let's see what, Telvin Smith, 26th, yeah. So we're going to need some linebackers and then maybe a strong safety. We don't need anybody down below. Obviously, we need a new quarterback. I'm going to keep him in for now. Like I said, if you guys want to see another one where I, where I just get rid of Blake Bortles right here, right now, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. And then maybe a tight end. Tight end I'm not really too, too worried about. But then we're definitely going to need a new offensive line. I don't know how Leonard Fournette's going to perform in his first season in this game, but we shall see. So let's sim to the midseason mark. Do I set my season goal real quick? I think I'm going to be realistic. We can get a, a big nine wins. Probably not going to happen, but I'm going to send to the sim to the midseason mark. See who's going to be free agent. See what our record is. See how everything's going. Do some scouting, things like that, and I will see you in one second. So we are six and one. Really? I find that hard to believe. I mean, one in six Texans. Really? The Colts are four and four. The Titans are four and three. Wow. I kind of want. Nope, nope. That's not the stats. I want to look at the stats real quick. I really hope Blake Bortles isn't playing out of his mind. I want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Five passing touchdowns. Yeah. You need to get... Oh, he might be injured. Huh. Really? So, Chad Henney and Blake Bortles have five touchdowns, two interceptions. I, I like seeing that, honestly. Oh, Fournette already has ten touchdowns. Chris Ivory has three. What is going on? Alan Hearns has two touchdowns. Marquise Lee has three. Alan Robinson has two. Mercedes Lewis has one. And then there's a bunch of other ones. That's... What is, what is going on? I don't really understand. What is? Can I look at our schedule real quick? Then I'm going to look at who's free agents, everything like that. If you, as you see, I didn't force any wins or anything like that. Wow, we're putting up all kinds of numbers. We lost to the Jets of all teams. 26-3 in the Rams. Wow. 45-38 to the Steelers. That's kind of like in the playoffs. I think they won like that in real life this, this week too. All right, so let's see who... Actually, what do we have for XP? Are we looking at anything... Oh, yeah, so Blake Bortles is injured. Okay, but we don't really have any... Nobody really has a lot of XP. I guess this this tackle has a good amount. Let's see what our defense is doing. 
Yeah, nobody really. Calais Campbell has over a thousand so far. Other than that, nothing. I don't know. Is that Allen Robinson? I think. I believe it is. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring him back. 24 years old. Marquise Lee, I'd like to bring back. Paul, we're not bringing back. I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. Aaron Colvin, not really worried about Lambo. Not worried about. Okay, let's try to get Allen Robinson back. Obviously, what do we have for cap space? Ooh, 35.7. That's not that much. I'm gonna offer him seven million. See if that'll do the trick. Okay, he's back. Okay, uh, Marquise Lee, if you're going for something cheap, I'm gonna throw at him. I'll throw him at four years, three million. See if he'll take that. Is okay. He needs a better salary. I kind of expected that. Not worried about him. Colvin, normal development, so I'm not worried about Lambo. Should probably should probably just see what he wants. 1.5. We need a kicker, so we'll just offer that. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to do some scouting. I'll, I'll show you guys who I scouted and all that. I will see you in a second. So this is all I added to my draft board. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but we're obviously going to have a late draft pick unless we somehow just fall apart in the second half, which I really don't believe. So Austin Folk, this is who I'm probably going to draft. It says mid-third rounder, so maybe I'll take him with a second round pick because we should have a late second round pick, you would assume, as of now. Let's see, actually... It tells us what our, yeah, 31st in the league. So that's the second to last pick. So not really going to worry about that. And then this left tackle I'd also like to get. There were some other positions that I scouted. Let's go to available. I, I would like to get these two guys right here. I'll add to them. They're quarterbacks. This guy is probably going to go top two, top three, something like that. So we won't even have a chance. And then late first round, or maybe we can get this guy out of Wisconsin. But I think I would just like to fall back to this guy, mid third rounder, so we can get him late second rounder. We could see what we can get in the early first or late first round rather than just get a quarterback like that. So we shall see. So I'm going to sim to the playoffs, see if we get there, look at our stats, look at MVP, awards, all that. I will see you in one second. So we went 11 and 5, but we didn't get a first round bye? What, what happened there? Let's see what our XP looks like. Leonard Fournette with 26,000. Alan Hearns with 63,000. How on earth did that happen? Let's look at the progression history. Oh, a Pro Bowl experience, or appearance, experience. Appearance, I can say words sometimes. This guy, Linder, must have had one too. Let's see, progression. Yep, he made the Pro Bowl. Okay, actually, let's look at our defense real quick as well. Anybody make the Pro Bowl? Nobody on defense made the Pro Bowl. How did that even happen? I want to look at my injury report real quick because it doesn't look at, like Allen Robinson's in or Marquise Lee. Two guys I just re-signed are both out. How are we going to win the, the playoff game like that? Okay, I want to look at the, the standings real quick, then we'll check out the awards, and then we'll check out the stats. So the Patriots won 12-4, and 4, the Chargers won 11-5, and 5, so that's why we must have lost to the Chargers, or they, I guess had better tie, or they had better tiebreakers than we did. Okay, so let's look at the awards real quick. I imagine... Leonard Fournette must have won that Rookie of the Year, I would have to imagine. Maybe he's in the top 10 for uh, for MVP. Anybody from the Jaguars? Nope. Do we get Coach of the Year? Ah, there we are. QB for sale. <laughs> AFC. Anybody, anybody. Leonard Fournette in top five for Offensive Player of the Year. Let's look at Defensive Player. Ooh. So why didn't you get all kinds of XP? And why didn't I re-sign you? Um, among, you know, among other things. Nobody else. Is, oh, James Harrison. He's actually in the top 10. Trey Flowers is in the top 10. Offensive rookie of the year. We lost it to the 4-12 Houston Texans. Really? Defensive rookie of the year? I don't even know if we have anybody. We might not even have anybody. So let's go look at uh, Paul Pazlunski. I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. Yeah, he didn't get all kinds of... Why didn't he get all kinds of XP? He won... All that gets you is 900 XP, really. It gets him quick development, so that's good. He is 32 years old, though, so I'm kind of very, very confused. All right, let's actually, do I throw my XP into my guys real quick and Alan Hearns and the Leonard Fournette? I think I will, so I'll see you in one second. Okay, let's sim this game, see what happens. That's not what I want to do. Advance week, come on. Get us a division round. So we have to win four playoff games? This is not going to look good. We are playing the Ravens. We lost to the Ravens. Really? I know we didn't have Allen Robinson, we didn't have Marquise Lee, but really? What was the score? Please don't tell me it was a blow. We got blown up by the Ravens when we beat them already. Ravens Patriots, that does make sense though. 26 to 8. What? How does that happen? Blake Bortles with three interceptions. That's why I should have got rid of him. I don't know what his contract looks like, but wow. And Joe Flacco didn't even play good. What did Leonard Fournette do? Almost 100 yards, that's not bad. Cole had a touchdown, 134 yards. Hearns almost had 88 yards. Did I look at the stats? I did not look at the stats, did I? Let's actually check that out before we go into the offseason. I can't believe we lost to the Ravens of all teams. 
stats 18 passing touchdowns six interceptions that's not that bad honestly almost 3,000 yards I don't know how long he was out or anything like that Fournette had 14 touchdowns almost 1,300 yards Chris Ivory had 10 touchdowns okay Hearns had seven touchdowns, almost 1,200 yards. That's incredible. For four years in the league, that's absolutely incredible. Marquise Lee had five touchdowns. Mercedes Lewis didn't get another one all season. Allen Robinson only had three, but I don't know how long he was out or anything like that. Cole had four. That's not too, too bad. All right, let's go to free agency and see if there's anybody we should sign. Actually, we'll see if there's anyone we should re-sign first. I think... Did anyone deny us? I don't remember. I think Marquise Lee might have, which means I'll just probably let him walk, but we'll see. So Marquise Lee is good and all. I know he's at 84 overall. That's pretty good. I, I should just toss him in some, some sort of money. I'm going to give him 3-2 if he'll take that. Okay, I, I'm not too, too worried about that. We got Hearns. We got Cole. We got Westbrook. I don't know what this guy's going to be looking for. 2.6 million, 81. I'm, I'm sure he's actually going down now that he's, 30, or he's already 33 years old. So he must be, yeah. I really, really can't bring him back, even though he had a great, great season. Colvin might be good. Let's, but 4.5 million for a cornerback when we already have two great cornerbacks. Yeah, we're going to have to look at free agency real quick and then let's, we'll see what's going on. Let's actually, before we go to that, let's see who is, who won the Super Bowl rather. That's not what I want to look at. Let's look at the Super Bowl. The Chargers are your Super Bowl champions beating the Saints. Really? So the Ravens, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. The Ravens beat the Jaguars. The Ravens beat the Patriots and then got shut out by the Chargers, who I guess are the Super Bowl champions, so it doesn't look that bad. But if I said that to you in real life, you'd be like, what the hell is wrong with you? All right, let's go to the free agency and see what happened. Wow, Le'Veon Bell is a free agent, but I have Leonard Fournette, who is a hell of a lot younger. I obviously can't go for Bell. We do have 35.8 million, but... We're not really going to do anything about that. Cameron Brait would be interesting. Oh, looks like Lewis retired. So do we want... Oh, Brait's quick? What is what is Burton? Burton's just normal. So we're going to try to bring in Brait. I think that's realistic. We can throw him like 4.5. See if that beats what everyone else is offering him. About the same. Let's see if we can do a little bit more. Let's go 4.7. That should get him above the 93 points. 94. Okay, that's exactly what we want. What else could we really ask for here? They're throwing so much money at Marquise Lee. I'm not worried about that even a little bit. Uh, what else did we lose? We lost a cornerback, I believe. So let's see if there's anybody playing cornerback that we could get. He's 29. Not going to go for him. 34. Colvin would be nice to bring back. But, like, we got a 95 and a 92. Like, we really don't need him. I think I'm going to throw money at this guy. He's one point, uh, one point less than him. I think he's, what, a little bit older. But that's fine. Let's, I'm going to throw him just a just chunk of change. Three million. Three years, three million. Yeah, that's like nothing. Okay. So let's sim to the next week and see what happens. I'm actually have to scout some players. So I'm going to scout those players. I'll show you guys who I scouted. Well, t I'll tell you if I got those two players. I'll see you in a second. So I scouted a bunch of players. I, this middle linebacker I like, though, it says he's going to go late first round, right? Late first round. To look at those combine grades. A minus tackle, B pursuit, B minus block shedding. Not too bad. 23 years old. Obviously, he's young. Cover two. Other than that, who else did I see? Who else did I see? I believe it was this. No, not this guy. Oh, wait. Maybe it was that guy. Look at those combine stats. He's top five in everything. Top four in everything. He's a late first rounder, so we're going to have to see who's there at the 24th pick. There was somebody else I liked, too. Wasn't him. Was it this guy? No, actually, it might have been. So, it's either Wynn we're going with or Dixon if we can get him, unless one of these quarterbacks falls back to us. If we have to stick with Blake Bortles again, I guess we can. Who's the quarterback I liked, actually? Is he not here? Folk. He's supposed to go mid-third. Yeah, okay. So we might be able to get Folk in the second round, get Dixon first round. So let's... Oh, yeah, okay. I should mention that. We also uh, signed Bray and we signed Taylor. So that is good. So let's go to the draft. I will see you in a second. So we are here at the draft. Wow, this is weird. The Raiders are number one. Cardinals two. Denver three. San Francisco four. Browns, Tampa Browns. That kind of makes sense. Let's pause the draft. Let's skip ahead to our next pick. I hope one of those guys we want is there. I think I might have saw Dixon. No, Dixon is gone. No, 24th pick. I thought he might have been there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to our draft board. Who was I looking at? Was I looking at Win? I believe I was, right? Yeah, it was Win left guard. We don't have a left guard. Yeah, I'm picking him right here, right now. Quick development, 77 overall, 91 strength, 86 run block, 74 pass block, 87 impact blocking. 
I think I'm going to like this. That was a good, good pick. Now, next pick, we should be able to get Folk, I believe his name was, if I remember correctly. That's who I want as my quarterback, so that's who I'm picking right now. Let's go draft board. Folk is here. It says mid-third rounder, but I don't think it would be crazy to pick him right now. There was another guy I was looking at. Was it him? There's something about this guy I like, too, but I'm actually going to take Folk right here. Who else would I really take? He's early third rounder, so I'm not really going to get him any later. Six rounder. I don't think there's anybody else I was really looking at this early in the draft. So let's get Folk. We need another quarterback. I want to get rid of Blake Bortles, obviously. Quick development. 77 overall. Good pick. Good pick. Ooh, he's. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to start over Bortles. I want him to start over Bortles, but I don't know what that's going to be like. Let's skip ahead in the draft again, obviously. I'm hoping we can win the Super Bowl next year, realistically. Draft board. Ooh, he's still there. Wow. Oh, that's that's not who I thought that was. Never mind. Ooh, none of my guys are really here that I was looking at. What else do we really need? We need a middle linebacker. We didn't end up getting a middle linebacker. Let's see what they have left. I, I thought we were going to get Dixon, so I didn't even bother scouting any more of these guys. Why? There's none left? Oh, on my draft board. Whoo! I was like, how is there nobody left? That doesn't really make sense. Do I just take a chance with Pratt? I feel like I might. Feel like I might. Yeah, I'll take a chance. Normal development, 68 overall. I reached really damn. So I traded my fourth round pick to the Cowboys for a three and a seven next year. There wasn't anybody on my draft board or anyone I could really find. So that's why I did that. Let's skip ahead in the draft a little bit more. I should know what I'm getting the rest of the way. So let's make a selection here. Go to my draft board. Okay, we want, we didn't pick a left tackle. Okay, good. I want this guy. I like this guy. I believe that's who I wanted. Yes, let's take him right here, right now. Normal development, 71 overall. Obviously, it's a fifth round pick. It's not going to be quick development or anything like that. I wasn't expecting like superstar development in this fifth, sixth round, anything crazy like that. Now, I believe there was a guard I liked here. Ooh, they're gone. No. Damn. Okay, so let's actually look at our right tackles that we have left. Available, available. No, nobody here. What else do we need? We need, I, was, I say guard, I meant tackle. There's nobody left either of those positions that I want. All right, then let's take a chance. We lost Marquise Lee. What do you run? 43rd. Okay, I don't want a slow ass wide receiver. 55, 22nd, broad jump. We're taking him out of Minnesota. Normal development, 63 overall. Nothing really. Nothing there, honestly. So I am starting, I believe his name is Austin Folk, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Austin Folk. We are starting him over Blake Bortles. I don't know if they'll take him out or anything like that. I believe I turned that off so they can't switch positions unless someone gets hurt or anything like that. But other than that, our team is pretty stacked. Obviously, our defense is still stacked. We got a little bit better, or maybe Miles Jack just got a little bit better. I have to use his XP. Pratt is obviously one of the guys we drafted I because we lost Paul. So we have a D in middle linebacker, which isn't very good, but all our other positions, pretty good. We need to get a new strong safety. Obviously, we can't do that right now, but I think we should do a little bit better than last year. We went 11-5 last year. We got Falk. Obviously, Bortles let us down. So let's sim to the midseason. I will see you in one second. So let's see what we're looking at at week nine. Doesn't tell me a right record right here. We are six and two. That is not too bad. A little worse than last season. Granted, we were six and one. Folk might actually be doing pretty well, which I'm going to like because I hate Blake Bortles so, so much. 14 passing touchdowns, 15 interceptions, though. Wow. How are we winning games? Oh, Leonard Fournette has 14 rushing touchdowns. Ivory has eight. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Folk, you cannot be playing like this right now, man. 14 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. Wow. Okay, let's see who is ready to negotiate their contract. Dante Fowler, we're going to need to get him. Blake Bortles, you can get the hell out of here. I do not want you. Let's give you 2-2. Two -two. Let's see if that'll do the trick. Okay, we got him done. Blake Bortles, I'm not worried about. TJ Yeldon, I'm not too worried about. I don't know how old... Um, who am I thinking of? How old Ivory is? So maybe I should think about that. Is everybody else just normal? Yeah, normal, normal, normal. Michael Bennett. That's not the right Michael Bennett. James O'Shaughnessy would be nice. Let's see if what he probably just wants nothing. I'll give him one 1.7 to bring him back. Everything aside from the salary. Isn't that like the main point? TJ Yeldon. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know you're good and all. And you're like, you're probably like the pass catching back. Here's a fumble. Let's see what his stats are once more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stats. Where, what am I looking? Oh, yeah, receiving. Receiving. You must be here, TJ Yeldon. Does he have anything? He doesn't even have a catch or anything. Okay, so we're not going to bring him back. 
I can't believe 14 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. That's atrocious. Uh, okay, I'm going to scout some players. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. I'll see you in a second. So I, I looked at a lot of strong safety linebackers and linemen. What I'm thinking I'm going to do as of right now, I have the 27th pick. So that'll probably get us late first round. Obviously, we should stick to that. Uh, who did I look at that I liked? I believe it was Kennison. Yeah, I like this Kennison guy. I'm going to see what his combine grades are and everything like that. But if right now, we're probably going to get Kennison. That's at least the plan. So let's send him to the playoffs, see what happens. Hopefully, Full can get us there. Because obviously, Blake Bortles is gone after this season. He has so much XP. I probably should spend that. I think I will, actually. But I will send him to the playoffs. I'll see you in one second. So we are 10 and 6. I want to check out the stats real quick before we head into that. Wow, 35,000 XP. What the hell happened here? Oh, he made it to the Pro Bowl and Offensive Rookie of the Year. We're going to have to use that. Oh, he's 84 overall with the, uh, what is that? The confidence points. Okay, wow, that's good. Let's see what our defense is looking like XP-wise. Pratt has 22,000. Did he get Defensive Rookie of the Year? Wow, okay, that is great, great, great. Ramsey has 30. Ramsey. Rams, I said Ramsey. Ramsey has 30,000. I want to see what our stats look like. That's news. What am I doing? Uh, Stats? Let's look right here. 30 passing touchdowns to 24 interceptions. Those interceptions you need to work on. Jesus. Almost 5,000 yards, though, so that's not bad. Fournette had 16 touchdowns, so he only had two more the rest of the way. That's not that good. He must have got injured or something. Ivory had eight. TJ Yeldon comes out of nowhere with 10. So somebody got hurt. Okay, we might have to bring Yeldon back. I'm assuming that actually, uh, let's see. That's not, Why am I on the Jets? How did that happen? Let's go back to, to rushing. Ivory has to be up there in age, right? Eight. So he might only be in like his early 30s. Robinson has four touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Cole had eight touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Hearns had six with 800 yards. Not too bad. Actually, what am I doing? So let's, let's keep looking at the stats. Look at defense. What are we looking at for stats or sacks wise? Sort, sort. 12 by Campbell, 10 by this guy, 6 by Darius, 5 by uh, Jackson. Nobody else really. Do we get any defensive touchdowns? Where is that? Defensive touchdowns. Nope, no defensive touchdowns. All right, I'm gonna. Oh wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Want to look at those uh, those awards that I believe we got two of because of my fabulous drafting. Do we get anybody in the top ten? Folk is in the top ten for MVP. Not bad. Jacoby Brissett in number two. Yeah, right. Get out of here. Are we in here? Ah, we're in top ten again. It doesn't really matter. But whoo hoo. Uh, do we get top ten for this? Yes. There's one. Do we get two? Nope. Defensive rookie or defensive player of the year rather. Nobody. So we just got offensive rookie of the year. Anybody else? No. And then we got defensive player uh, rookie of the year. Not bad though, honestly. Okay, we're gonna use the XP and then we'll sim that game. See you in one second. So we have Folk up to a 90. We got Cole up to an 84. We got Robinson up to a 91. We got all of our players to a good, good amount. So let's sim this week against the Broncos. We should be able to beat them. I would assume, unless they got like Drew Brees or something like that. Even then. We should be able to beat them with our defense. There we go. We are in the divisional playoffs. Oh, who's returning from an injury? I hope it's Bray. Bray was injured. Who? I don't know. Who came back from an injury? I don't I don't know who came back. I honestly have no idea. Let's confirm this. Let's see if they put Bray back. How long is Bray out for? What happened? Three more weeks. So he, he would be back in time for the Super Bowl if we can get there. All right. Let's him this week. See if we can get by the Steelers. We should be able to beat the Steelers. Easy peasy, but we're probably going to lose. Yes, we did. I don't know how on earth did we lose. That's so annoying. Uh, let's look at the playoff schedule. Let's look at the playoff schedule again. Can we go back to the game I was just playing? What did we lose? 56-39. Our defense with some of the best secondary players ever or in the league. Like, what is going on? We had three touchdowns, two interceptions. That's expected. Fournette didn't really do much of anything. Did they not even have Bell? They don't even have Bell. Antonio Brown almost went for 200 yards, two touchdowns. Allen Robinson almost had 100 yards, one touchdown. Cole had a touchdown. What happened? What did you guys do? I don't really get it. Did they have defensive touchdowns maybe? They must have. They 100% they had to. Artie Burns had a touchdown. Don't know who that is. Did they have any safeties? No. How did they get 56 then? Don't really understand it. All right. Let's go to the offseason. We should be able to get it next season, I would assume. I mean, look at this. We have so many good players with a ton of XP. I will, I will just go to the offseason, see who won the Super Bowl and all that. I will see you in a second. Now, I don't think there was anybody left that I wanted to re-sign. Yeldon, actually. 
That's right. So what do we have? We probably don't even need one of these, right? But I think I'll I'll, I'll sign him, especially if he only wants 2.6 million. Okay, we re-sign him. We don't want Bortles. We don't want... Do we want Can? We probably want Can, huh? Let's give him 3 million. Well, we don't even have that much cap room. Oh, that's not good. We need a tight end. Like, we really, really need a tight end. I don't think I could throw you that much money, though. That's kind of crazy, Rivera. Yeah, it probably will be better for you in the long run. Not going to lie. Yeah, there's nobody else we really want. So, let's see. Actually, let's see who won the Super Bowl real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. I hope it was the Steelers. So, it made sense that we lost to them. Steelers lost to the Saints. To the Jacoby Brissett Saints, if I remember correctly. Yup. Two touchdowns, one interception. Roethlisberger, 400 yards. Wow. Who's on this team? Kamara. They obviously have, well, not obviously, Latar Murray? Okay, I thought that was Tyreek Hill. I was like, what the hell is going on? What are we looking at here? We have Thomas. There's nobody really on the Saints. I don't know how the hell they won. I guess they have a decent defense. So let's see who is going to be a free agent. This is absolutely crazy. Back-to-back -back years, we had Le Le'Veon Bell, now we have David Johnson, we have Clowney, we have Walker, we have all these people that I don't need, but I would have loved to get them in any of my other rebuilds. This is crazy. I don't think there's anybody here that we want. There isn't. All right, let's go to the draft. Okay, we are here at the draft. I had to do a little bit of restarting of my uh, my capture program, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but let's jump up, up, up. I want to pause that. I want to skip ahead to my pick. What is it, number 24, 26? So worse than last year. I don't think anybody I wanted is gone. So that should be good. I hope. I hope. Let's go to our draft board, obviously. I think it was this guy I was looking at, right? Was it Monroe? What do we need? Yeah, we need a strong safety because Barry Church is on his way out. I believe it was him, though. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It was Kennison. That's who I wanted. That's who I'm picking. Normal development, 80 overall. I mean, that's not terrible. I thought we might have been able to get like a superstar development, something along those lines. Now, if you remember, we do have two third round picks, so we have to remember that. Strong safety. Ooh, is these actually the guys I was looking at? They were, weren't they? So what are we looking at the difference? B plus hit power doesn't really matter. B minus zone coverage. C plus pursuit. I feel like I should go with Macklin. Yeah, ooh, but the combine. Who's faster? He's faster. The three cone. Da, da, da. You know what? What is the difference? Zone? He's a zone one. He's a playmaker. Okay, I'm going with the playmaker every time. Slow development, 76. No! Why did that happen? I thought I was going to be a great, great pick. Oh, yeah, we have another pick back to back. Is our other guy going to be there? No. I didn't really think he was going to be there, but be hopeful, obviously. So we're in the third round. We have two picks. Uh, what do I really want to do with this pick? Do I want to take a risk on a guy I don't know? I mean, obviously I have to take a risk on someone I don't know. He's a prototype. Do I take another risk on a guy who's a mid-second rounder? He's kind of slow, though, so I'm not really feeling that right there. Oh, th there's a quarterback I want to get near the end of the round. It says he's going to be undrafted, so I'm not going to reach on anybody right there. 24th on the speed. What? Ninth speed. That's not bad. But we, we're so stacked at wide receivers. So what do we need? Quarterback, fullback, lineman, but I can get them later. And let the, Is there a right guard that I just didn't scout? No. Unless maybe this guy will blow me away. You know what? Fuck it. We reached probably. We didn't reach. Normal development. I, th I was hoping he might have been quick development. I think personally, I think that was a little bit of a reach. But so be it, I guess is the best way to put that. All right. Let's, uh, we have another pick. So let's go to the draft board. He was supposed to be mid fourth rounder, right? Do we we didn't we took a right? Uh, which one of these is better though? See, we looked at so many that I don't know which one is probably the better one to get. I'm assuming him, but he this guy's B plus and then B minus run block. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get this. Guy. Oh whoa 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 whoa! What round is he saying he's going? Six rounds. So we're not gonna go with him right now. Let's go to all positions. Obviously, we're just on that. I'm dumb. We don't need a cornerback really. What are we looking at for this? He's a one cut. Don't need a one cut. We have to, like we have an A plus. We need a middle linebacker. That's the best one we can do. Let's go to middle linebacker. Let's see what's there. See what's cooking. Oh yeah, we're taking this guy right here. Normal development, 67 overall. I reached really. 
Did you see all his combine? We needed a fullback, so I'm going with this fullback that was supposed to go in the fifth round. I know that's a little bit of a reach in my opinion, but we needed one. We didn't even have a single fullback. So that was with our 122nd pick. 22nd deserve a book. Okay, let's see what else you can get here. What did the, He's a D? I guess maybe that's just what they put just because you just drafted him, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, we're going to have to get this guy right here, right? Is this who we wanted? This is who we wanted. Normal development, 71. Excellent pick. Thank you, game. I am taking a backup quarterback in the sixth round. A little bit of a reach, in my opinion. He was supposed to go undrafted, but I didn't really know who else to pick. All my other picks are probably going to be here. This next pick, I would assume. This should be our last. No, no, no. We have two seventh round pick, if I remember correctly. Oh, no. We just have quarterbacks left. All right. So, this is probably just going to be a reach. I'm probably just going to pick some guys. We need a left tackle. We do not. We don't really need a left outside linebacker. We don't really need much. That's the problem. Like, I mean, I guess, oh, woe is me. I have too many good players. Let's take this free safety. Normal development, 70 overall. I believe I picked like a 68 or something, if I remember correctly. And this should be our last pick. Yeah, seventh round, 26th pick. Do I just go in a third quarterback? There was another guy I liked. I don't think it was him. It might have been this guy. But, you know, he's better, technically. Yeah, we're just going to take another quarterback. I'm sorry. I'm doing it. 68 overall. We have three quarterbacks on the roster. What are you going to do about it? So this is what our roster is looking like at the beginning of the season. Pretty much the same. Obviously, we have Folk. He's an 89 overall, so that's pretty good. for Nets in 98. Cole's an 84. Robinson, 92. Hearns, 88. We have Braid. Hopefully, he can stay healthy the whole season. Our offensive line, other than our right tackle, is pretty stacked, at least in my opinion. Can could get a little bit better, but so be it. Uh, what are we looking at on defense? Obviously, all A's across the bottom. Pratt should be getting better, you would assume. He was the uh, defensive rookie of the year, offensive rookie of the year. Wasn't he quick before? Did he go, does he go back down? Miles Jack is still quick. Our, our safeties have kind of let me down a little bit. Obviously, Church is regressing a lot. I believe, yeah, we drafted Macklin probably. And, no, not and Dillon. We drafted a free safety, I believe, yeah. Obviously, we're not going to replace him here. I feel like we should just go right now and just replace Macklin with the most slow development. Never mind. Because he's normal. Yeah, we're going to have to stick with that. So I'm going to sim to the midseason mark, see how we're doing. We always do good at the midseason mark, but let's find out. So we are 5-1-1. One, one. That looks like Jalen Ramsey is about to be a free agent. We're going to have to fix that real quick. And he's going to be a free agent and Miles Jack and Keenan Cole. Wow. I don't even want to know what we have. Oh, we do not have anything for cap room. Obviously, we have to give Jalen Ramsey the money that he wants. 13.4. Okay, he's going to be back. Uh, who is the... Uh, Miles Jack is kind of nice. Keenan Cole, we don't really need to worry about too much. Let's see if he'll take $3.5 I like the length of the contract, but that's about it. Okay, you can go uh, F yourself, as some might say. Miles Jack, will you take this offer? No, he needs more money, of course. And then Keenan Cole, I want to bring you back, man. Really? They all just... Yeah, they just kind of poo-pooed it. Uh, I don't... I want to see what... Actually, let's see what Folk's doing for XP. Nothing really. Wow. I know it's mid-season, Mark. We're, we're, we're what? 5-1-1, one, one, I said. Wow, we're going to win this division easy. Look at that. 2-5-1, and 2-5, 0-8. Oh, wow. Let's look at our stats real quick. 17 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Okay. You're turning it around a little bit. I like that. Fournette has 7 touchdowns. Yeldon has 7 touchdowns. That's good to know. Hearns has 6. Braid has 4. Robinson has 2. Cole has 4. Okay. So let's go to the playoffs. Actually, I'm going to scout some players real quick and then go to the playoffs. I will see you in one second. So we made it to the playoffs. That means we got a first round bye also. We're 12-3-1. Nice. Let's look at these stats real quick. 41 passing touchdowns, 15 interceptions, pretty much 5,000 yards. I'll give him that. Fournette had 15 touchdowns. Yeldon had 13 touchdowns. Fournette had 1,500 yards. Wow. Hearns had 10 touchdowns. Braid had 7. Robinson with 1,500 yards, 5 touchdowns. Cole with over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Fournette with 6 uh, receiving touchdowns. You do not see that from him. All right, let's go to sacks. Let's see what we're looking at for stats. Uh, bleh, for sacks. Campbell had 17. Darius had 10. Jackson had 9. He had 6.5. I don't know how to say his name still, obviously. Actually, let's see what we have for defensive touchdowns. There we go. Ah, Michael Pratt. Michael E. Michael E. Pratt. I don't know how to say his name exactly. Actually, we should look. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's look at awards real quick. Obviously, what do we draft? I don't know if any of our guys are even going to be up for. Oh, you won MVP. Okay. That means he's going to have a ton of XP. Fournette's also there. Let's look at Coach of the Year. Why are we still not Coach of the Year? Come on. That's all, that's all I really want. How, how are you not Offensive Player of the Year and MVP? I don't know how that works. Who's Preston Shabble to begin with? I'm guessing that's Brady's replacement. 
We have two in number three. Do we have anybody else? No defensive player of the year. Do we have any? We don't have anybody. Uh, offensive rookie of the year. Their offensive rookie of the year was top 10 in MVP. Must be nice. Ravens got two players. We don't have anybody? Did I, even, I, I might have drafted more defensive players, right? Right, 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 right. No, nobody? Folk must have so much XP, though. So, so much XP. 33,000 for net with 14,000. Yeah, we got some XP to use here. All right, I'm going to use some of the XP, then I'll sim the playoff game. I will see you in a sec. Okay, so we got Falk up to 95. I can't get Fournette up to 99. It's kind of disappointing. Same with Robinson. We do got a beast left tackle at 98. He's almost at 99. We have an 88, 96, 82, 77. We're pretty much good to go. All right, so let's go by the, uh, the wild card round, whatever I'm trying to say right here. I don't know who we're going to play in this divisional round. Uh, the Steelers, but they got they went down, so we should be able to win this. Oh, is it, what? Why did it say to the Super Bowl? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say we should be at the conference championship real quick before we do anything like that. I don't think we're getting any XP that matters really. No. Nah, I mean, I guess Campbell kind of matters. Okay, I'm gonna do some more XP. I'll see you in a second. Let's see if we can get to that goddamn Super Bowl. Here we go. Let's make it to the Super Bowl. Win it in season three. That would be so so good. Give it to me right now, please. Please, game. Just, we, oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we make it? I don't know if we made it. I thought I simmed to the Super Bowl. We didn't even make it, really. We lost by three, no. All right, what I'm going to do is go to season four. I'm going to skip over everything for you guys. We're going to sim season four, see if we can win in the Super Bowl just to, Try to make, put a nice little bow on it just to finish this video and I'll see you in a second. So this should be able to make it to the Super Bowl. We have almost A's across the line. We have an A quarterback, an A running back, an A wide receiver, another A wide receiver, an A minus tight end. I mean, what else could we get? Look at that. Other than Fowler, who's a good backup, we have A's across the board at the bottom. A B, it's the safeties. We have A's at our linebackers and the C+. Plus. I think Pratt would have done so much better if he actually didn't get injured last season, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to sim to the playoffs. I'll see you in a second. So we made the playoffs again, obviously. We're 14-2. and two. Okay. Let's check out the stats, MVP awards, and all that. I am interested. 29 touchdowns to 5 interceptions. See, he's getting so much better. 13 touchdowns by Fournette. Ivory had 4. I didn't even know he was still on the team. 6 by Yeldon. Westbrook had five touchdowns. Braid had two. Hearns had eight with over 1,000 yards. Westbrook had over 1,000 yards. Okay. So we have so many good players, but I I, I guarantee we're not going to win the Super Bowl, and it's going to be disappointing. Let's see the defensive touchdowns real quick. Oh, we had at least one. I don't know who Macklin is. Oh, actually, I do know who Macklin is. We drafted him. He's a, a free strong safety. Strong safety, I believe. Brissett beat me out for MVP. Are you kidding me? Anybody else on my team? Nope. Do we get... Uh, yes! Yes! Coach of the year. Thank you. Thank you. No autographs. Police. Okay, let's look at the AFC. We got offensive player of the year. Okay, that's pretty good. Nobody else. Do we get... Oh, Pratt was second place. That's not bad. Anybody else? Campbell, Macklin. Okay, we got some players in the top 10. Offensive rookie of the year. Do we get anybody? We got Zamp Sampy? Sampy? I don't know how to say your name. Anybody else on defense rookie of the year? No. Okay, I'm going to do some of the XP, and I will see you guys in one second. Oh, we have so many people in the high 90s. We should be able to win this. Look, at we almost have A's across the board on offensive line. We're so close to the B+. Plus. Obviously, the fullback doesn't matter. Our, our third string wide receiver doesn't really matter. Let's look at our defense real quick. Almost A's at every position. Oh, if we don't win the Super Bowl, I am going to be very, very disappointed. Let's sim to the next week. Obviously, it's going to be the divisional round. I'm assuming we're going to play like the Steelers. Oh, the Texans. Of all teams, if we lose to the goddamn Texans... I'm going to be pissed. Please don't lose. That's all I ask from you. Yes, now we're playing the Ravens. You better beat the Ravens' ass. That's all I'm asking from you. I, I hate the Ravens so much. Joe Flacco is so, so bad. And we lost to the Ravens. No. How do you keep doing this to me? They're such a tease. I don't understand. Let's look at the division around. How do we lose? Oh, no, we beat the... Okay, we lost in the conference. 34 to 20. Who's in the Super Bowl? Ravens versus Seahawks. Yeah, right. All right, guys. That is going to be it for this video. We could not make the goddamn Super Bowl, even though we're 14-2. and two. I thought we would get this for sure. There's still some things I need to iron out some more kinks so we can get to the Super Bowl, draft better players, uh, develop them a lot quicker, stuff like that. That is stuff I'm working on. Oh, we didn't have Fournette. Okay, well, actually, what, what happened to Fournette real quick? He must have been injured already, or did I miss that? Oh, so he's been out for a while. Pratt's been out a while. 
It seems that all my rebuilds people get hurt. But if you guys wanted to see more rebuilds or you want to see me do a specific team rather because these are always going to come out Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, let me know down in the comments below. I have one in the can of the Colts. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, that's going to be coming out next week. So if you guys like this video, give it a like down below. You want to get daily Madden 18 content, make sure to subscribe and come back for more. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.